Let's take a look at some of the economic releases on Tuesday the 17th of May, starting with the 9.30 a.m. release here in the UK of the consumer price inflation for the month of April. We expected to see it hold fairly steady with month-on-month -month figures seen at 0.3% compared with the 0.4% reading in March and a year-on-year -year figure of the number there flat at 0.5%. Looking at the core figure, that's seen at 1.4%, and that's down from a reading of 1.5% in the previous month. Markets there to watch, sterling crosses, all of those against the US dollar, and of course the Eurozone, the most important. Then at 10 o'clock UK time, we get the Eurozone trade balance data for March uh, for a Euro dollar cross, uh, both between us here in the UK with the pound and also the US dollar. In terms of the numbers, looking there for a widening of the surplus to 21.7 billion euros. That's uh, from 19 billion. And finally, the 1.30 p.m. UK time release of the U.S. Consumer Price Index. Again, this is for April, expected to rise to 1.1% year-on-year, up from 0.9% on a month-on-month -month basis. That's a 0.4% reading uh, for the inflationary number. These are all very, very small numbers, so any upward move in terms of the percentage move uh, can be quite high. So we've got that up 0.1% year-on-year, but in fact it's a 25% rise on the previously very small number that we had. Again, markets there to watch. Look for the US indices, the Dow Industrials and the S&P 500, and also the US dollar crosses.